This video was brought to you by Skillshare. As you might know, the game development industry is huge, and game studios use multiple software for different tasks. Most of the time, game studios do not mention their tools and they prefer to keep them secret. But in this video, we did some research for you. So let us see how some of the best game studios out there use Blender in their pipeline to help them create video games. Embark Studios Embark Studios were founded in November 2018 in Stockholm. They decided to pick Blender as their way to go. Daniel Beistad, the senior character artist at Embark Studios, explains how Blender is great for game development, especially its capability to make appropriate and non-destructive modeling tools and modifiers. Embark Studios is also a gold-level sponsor member of the Blender Development Fund program. They went for Blender because it is highly capable when it comes to 3D modeling, texturing, shading, and also displaying work in a high-quality real-time rendering viewport. They also use it for creating hair, both for classic hair card approach, but also for importing grooms into Unreal Engine when exported as a curved object with multiple splines to Olympic. EgoSoft EgoSoft, best known for its X series of video games, during a recent livestream, they talked a lot about their plans for the future games and they had some fun bits to share using Blender as an open source software. They were very clear about it too. As an EgoSoft developer plainly said, I use Blender, and it is an open source 3D creation tool since 2008. It seems they were originally using 3ds Max and they still use it, but in a smaller way. They have changed their pipeline to open it up more so they can use Blender, which is a great thing for Blender developers and Blender users for future opportunities. EA Games EA develops and publishes video games of established franchises. The company was founded in 1982, and it has a great legacy when it comes to quality games and realistic game experience. Surprisingly, some 3D artists in their studios use Blender as a side 3D program to make concept art and concept design. Paper Bunker. This is a small indie studio focusing on mobile, PC, VR, and console markets. They have more than 10 million downloads across all mobile platforms, and now they are trying to bring their games to other platforms. The quality of their games is top-notch, and of course, most of their assets have been created using Blender. Gameloft. We are not really sure how they use Blender in their workflow, but this studio have announced some remote jobs for concept artists with Blender knowledge in addition to experience using it as a 3D software, so we assume they use it as well to a certain extent. If you have any further information about the topic, we are happy to hear more in the comment section. Wolffire This is another game studio that is supposedly using Blender in their game production pipeline for many years now. They have worked on many games now such as Desperate Gods and GL Fighters. They have been working on an exciting sequel for a game also known as Receiver which seems pretty good if you want to check it out. Whoop Software It is a bunch of geeky programmers and artists that bring us a game called Factorio. The game is very stable and optimized for building massive factories. You can create your own maps, write mods, and play with friends in the multiplayer mode. Factorio was in development from spring of 2012 to the beginning of 2021. So far, over 2.5 million people have bought the game. According to the info we got, they apparently use Blender. Originally, this company was a garage company of two programmers and one artist. With an interesting idea, they grew a team of 21 in-house professionals and contributors around the world. If you are interested in learning more about how to start making your video games, I recommend you try Skillshare. Skillshare is a learning platform that has thousands of classes on a variety of different topics. If you want to learn game engines such as Unreal Engine or Unity and so on, you can find a lot of classes that can help you do that step by step. For example, this class called Unreal Engine 4, Intro into Game Design, will teach you how to set up a project, build a level, work with materials, particles, sounds, and scripted gameplay. After taking this 11-hour class, you will be able to create your own video game with characters and environments. And the good thing is, it is very affordable. The first 1,000 people to use this link will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Goodbye Kansas. This is not a game studio, but they use Blender to create amazing cinematics. For example, The Walking Dead cinematic. Zombies game assets were made both in ZBrush and Blender. Grooming of zombie hairstyles were done in Blender, and they also made environmental assets using it too. In the Biomutant cinematic trailer, 
Blender was used for modeling the little hero character, in addition to that, ZBrush was used too, and the grooming of the fur was done using Blender. Raid World War II Cinematic In Raid World War II Cinematic, several environments were done in Blender. They started the layout process using Grease Pencil, and later the Grease Pencil sketch was linked into each environment artist scene so they had a good reference when building it. The environment artists did also link each other's scenes so they could see each other's work update. This made it easy to tie the separate rooms together. In the Mass Effect The Andromeda Initiative cinematic, the moon environment was done in Blender. Being able to sculpt the ground at the same time as scattering the rocks made it easy to iterate the shot and see how everything looked in the camera. By importing the character animation with Alembic from Maya to Blender, the environment artist could make sure that nothing intersected the character's feet while they were walking. Infinity Ward Founded in 2002, it is the original studio behind Call of Duty franchise. Although Blender is not industry standard, it is slowly getting there bit by bit. Most companies are ready to recruit Blender artists because of the various 3D tools Blender has and the skills that Blender artists have. In addition to that, they can flexibly work with other 3D programs like Maya and 3ds Max to create game assets. Ubisoft If you don't know about these studios, it is the leading creator, publisher, and distributor of interactive entertainment and services with a rich portfolio of world-renowned titles, including Assassin's Creed, Just Dance, Watch Dogs, Tom Clancy's video game series, Far Cry, and much more. In July 22, 2019, Ubisoft announced joining the Blender Development Fund as a corporate gold member, and not only they will fund the online support for Blender development, but the Ubisoft Animation Studio will use Blender in their production. Pure Jacket, head of production at Ubisoft Animation Studios, says Blender was for us the obvious choice. Its strong and engaged community, paired up with the vision carried by the Blender Foundation, makes it one of the creative DCC of the market. This was a list of game studios that use Blender. If you think we forgot one or few of those studios that use Blender, which I'm sure we did, please mention them in the comment section below and give us your opinion about the future of Blender in the gaming industry. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.